Round three. Again, this is six, three, three. There you go. Um, is gonna be size. Size is a bit of a weird thing to tackle because I really went analytically with the with the size, and uh, I'm gonna go kind of the same thing except I'm not gonna be very nitpicky. In that review, I specifically said that he was probably the most well sized, but fundamentally. All but the NECA, we'll get to the NECA, are all the same height. Six inches. Now, I know, he's a bit smaller than the rest. I mean, if you look at him versus him, again, it's an apparent difference that he is, in fact, the bigger one compared to him. And these two are about, mm, I'm looking at it now, similar in height. Kind of looks like he's bigger, but not really by much, if he is. But it's so similar. Really, you can't decipher an actual winner unless there was like an inch or so in difference in size. The NECA is a very special case because even though six inch figures are kind of the, the standard norm nowadays, the NECA is eight inches, which a lot of people were kind of concerned as to why they would make it eight inches, despite the fact that they're previously made Godzilla figure line was a 6 inch to 7 inch figure line. Why would they make an 8 inch Kong in by from the same company, the same manufacturers as the 6 to 7 inch Godzilla line? Well, simple. Kong was in his own line entirely. In fact, it's part of NECA's ultimate figure line, which all of their figures, at least in that line to my knowledge, are about 8 inches tall. Godzilla was never part of the ultimate line. He had ultimate style packaging, but he was never part of the ultimate line. He was part of his own brand entirely. So, uh, yeah, that's part of the reason why Kong here is much bigger than the Godzilla's were. In fact, just to give a better idea as to what I'm talking about, here is some of the biggest, popularity-wise, Godzilla figures from the 6-inch figure companies. You know, the big ones. Like, for example, here we have Playmates, his new Toho series, Godzilla 2016 from Shin Godzilla, and NECA's first ever Godzilla figure ever made, the NECA Godzilla 2014, which both of them stand about the same height at about 6 or 7 inches. And as you can see, kind of moving Godzilla closer, he definitely scales well with all the 6 inch Kongs, but not so much his NECA counterpart. You see? He's like way too big. As for him, again, he scales pretty well with everyone here. Because Godzilla is naturally supposed to be the taller one of the two, this all makes sense. Mezco is about the same height and size as the neck of Godzilla, so if you want like a perfectly even toe-to-toe -to -toe, fist and cuffs Godzilla versus Kong stop motion fight, both at the same height, this is the perfect way to go. Purchase these two, you're golden. Glory. Um, as for the NECA, uh, let's see. I can bring in two other examples. Uh, let's move out of the. Let's move these two out of the way. Uh, where am I going to put them? I just realized. <laughs> I'll just put them on my lap. Uh, here we have the Bandai Godzilla 2000 uh, from Bandai America or Bandai Creations, and the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2001, which, as you can see, both of them again, they're rather much larger six-inch figures. But the Monster Arts is, I think, one of the more taller Monster Arts Godzilla figures, if I'm not mistaken, right behind Shin Godzilla, Phileas, and Ultima. But surprisingly, he is almost there. He is really almost there. Um, but compared to the things like Mezco, again, he fits well. Playmates, the, God, the Playmates Kongs, he fits well with. So, realistically, it's all down to your personal preference as to how you conceive things. Again, I'll do the same thing here. I'll do it briefly with him because he was in the last video. So, here we have him up here. I swear, if this makes this part the thumbnail, I'm going to laugh. Because he was in the thumbnails as well, so. Um, yeah. Um, in your personal preference, it all that comes down to you in terms of overall size, but... If you want, and I'm talking about general, general consensus here, if you want a Kong that stands shoulder to shoulder with your Godzilla and other kaiju figures that are 6 inches tall, because that is the most manufactured and most popular line, these four figures you see 
to the left. Those are the way to go. Sorry, Naka Kong. Even though we can fudge you to be six inches, you look really hunched. And uh, you don't scale well with Godzilla stuff, aside from 2003. So, yeah, these four are getting the point.